up guys, Vince here with another Batman video. So this is actually unexpected, I didn't really plan this, but I was at Walmart the other day in the costume section and I found this. And I originally wasn't gonna do gadgets, but I am building a Batman suit, so why not? So this is the Ruby's Batman v Superman grappling gun. And I think this is a Walmart exclusive because right here it says walmart.com. And I think Walmart has the best deal for this grappling gun because it's only $7.97. So yeah, I went ahead and got it. I think it's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna take it off the packaging. So here it is. And I think it's a pretty decent gun. It has a nice sculpt. It's in scale, which is good. And it has these clips right here, which are which look weird, but it's probably because it's based on the actual prop, so that's why they're there. And obviously it is lacking in paint, but I'm pretty sure that's due to safety concerns, due to recent events. You don't want kids running outside with a realistic version of this and getting shot by police, so yeah. But of course, with a nice repaint, it'll serve as a nice addition to my costume and a display piece. So let's get to it all right so before painting it i'm gonna give it a little sanding right here on the handle just to give it that wood feel and also to get rid of the dc comics logo right there so it's nice and smooth and grab some baby bit sandpaper okay now it has that rough texture and the label is gone i'm just gonna give it a nice rinse Get rid of all the dust and go outside and paint it. pieces are nice and curled right there. Now I'm gonna paint the rest of the details. So first I'm gonna paint in some black there. Okay now I've painted the little lines. Now I'm gonna paint this part right here with the same chrome I sprayed it with. But I'm gonna dry brush it on. Now I'm gonna spray it in a cup. Got it in liquid form. actually melted <laughs> the paint melted the cup so I just sprayed it on the lid here whatever but yeah here it is painted all the metallic pieces now I'm going to with a cotton swab I'm gonna grab some of the chrome and very very lightly I'm gonna Pass it over these parts right here. it out it looks nice and weathered now I'm gonna repaint the details here in black because I lost them so I'm just gonna put them back in all right they're back in there now the handle all right so here's the tricky part uh, for the handle it's supposed to be wood so it's gonna be this brown but I don't have brown acrylic paint. Normally I would use um, Model Masters leather, but since I don't have that with me, I'm just gonna make the color myself. I'm gonna mix black and orange to make brown, 
And maybe I'll add in a little bit of red. And I got this thing right here where I'm gonna mix the colors. Okay, so I got my brown mix here. Now, I paint. Alright, so I've given it its first coat with a dark brown. Now I'm gonna add a little more orange and a tiny bit of red. actually a pretty quick repaint and it only took me a couple hours I did this in one day and because of that I decided I want to sell another one on eBay so I bought another one and uh, yeah I'm gonna give this one a repaint as well and I'll put it on eBay <laughs> and depending on how well the sale goes then who knows I'll probably even make more but if you don't want to buy one from me on eBay well there's always this video as well so you can try it out yourself and as far as cosplay I think it fits snugly in my belt like this. I could just put it back here. <laughs> and uh, there you go. <laughs> so if I'm ever like at the convention, I could just pull it out like that. <sighs> but uh, don't try this in the streets or you're gonna get shot by cops. So only at home and maybe conventions. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like my Facebook page and thanks for watching. Peace.